Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to another vlog. It is currently Monday, August 12th. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I love Mondays. I know that is not the case for everybody. I know I'm very fortunate to work from home and be self-employed right now. I'm looking very unfortunate right now. I know I'm aware I'm about to eat my breakfast slash lunch and then I'll get ready for the day. But I'm drinking my Arma Colostrum. It doesn't taste like anything at all. Love it. I also have a few updates to share with you guys and I'm really excited. So I'm gonna eat my smoothie bowl. I used the Ninja Creamy smoothie bowl setting. I made the base last night. I did this dull frozen fruit smoothie bowl mixture. And then I did an organic vanilla protein shake, some Greek yogurt, honey. I think that's it. And it turned out beautifully. And then on top I've got these protein puffs peanut butter, mini semi-sweet chocolate chips, and strawberries and honey. And we're gonna taste test. Mm, so freaking good. It's actually already lunchtime. I've already had my morning coffee. I've already got some computer work done on my laptop sitting on the couch. So I didn't vlog any of that, but I've literally just been working away. So now it's time to eat, get ready, and get the day officially started. So we're tag teaming right now. Luke's doing the bedding that we just washed, the duvet cover and sheets. I'm vacuuming, and he called me in here because Luna's being silly. <laughs> She's so silly. We like to play this game every single morning, me and her. Whenever she's in a playful mood, which is usually right whenever we wake up. And yes, she sleeps with me and it's the cutest thing ever. But she's always super playful. I feed her and then she'll do whatever, like roam around for a little bit and then go back in my room, jump on the bed. And then that's when I go in there and like hide. I'll like insert a little video of us doing it, but it's so funny. And then she'll jump on me or jump over me or jump in my face. I call it hide and seek. I don't know if it's hide and seek, but it's very similar, but it's so funny, it's our favorite game. Look at the little smush. She's also got smoothie bowl in her fur, I gotta get it out, cause she was being naughty and got in my smoothie bowl. Yes, yes she did. So I have been cleaning the whole house. My aunt is coming over, she wants to see Luna and I think she got her a little gift. So my aunt's actually never seen my apartment. So she's gonna come over here and so I've been cleaning, I vacuumed. Luke actually did the bedding for me, which was so sweet. He came over here and helped me with that. I put it in the wash this morning, but I just needed to dry it and put it on. He's back at his school now because his season starts this week, which is so exciting. I am so happy that it's soccer season. Amazing, love it. But I need to change and I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. I never do makeup during the week unless I'm like going to dinner or something. I don't know, I just feel like it's a waste of time and then I have to take it off and it's just like, I don't know. Sometimes, most of the time I don't feel like I need it, but I'm gonna do some filming. Obviously I'm vlogging. I gotta film a TikTok. I'm seeing my aunt and I might be going to dinner with my parents, so. Oh my God, my hair. <laughs> Please ignore, but I'm gonna do an unboxing later on all this stuff. This has been piling up over the weekend, but for right now, I think I'm gonna wear something that's in this Lulu package. I got this on sale from Lulu. It was 49 instead of 68. This is my favorite style tank that they have. And so I bought it in, I think, Palm Court on sale. So this will be in my upcoming Lulu haul, but I'm gonna change into this really quickly and a pair of shorts, just super casual because I'm gonna be home most of the day. So I'm gonna change out of this Skims outfit. It's my favorite lounge set. So yeah. I'll be right back. I just changed and then it was freezing because it's always so cold in my apartment. That's just the way I like it. So I decided to throw this robe on that I've literally had for like seven years. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my hair. I literally have a mullet going on, but I'm getting it done in like a day or two. So I'm not gonna wash it. Anyways, I made a little to-do list. I always make to-do lists on my phone for every single day, but I also like to write it down sometimes on this little notepad. So this is what I came up with this morning and have been doing. First up, update my media kit for YouTube. So basically if you guys don't know what that is, Whenever a brand wants to work with me and they email me, contact me, whatever, they will usually ask for deliverables and rates. And then sometimes I also wanna see my demographics and stuff like that. So I've always had a media kit, but I have updated it. And so I did that already this morning. So I did that, update my links in my bio. I use Hobie, it's kind of like Linktree. 
So I had to update some things with that. So I did that already. Post Gucci purse on Mercari and Authenticate. So I'm selling this Gucci purse. I will put it up here. I just never wear it. I've had it for a few years. I've literally worn it one time. I just don't wear silver. So it just doesn't match anything. But it's so cute. And it's like honestly one of my favorite bags. But it's just like not. I'm not using it. So I'm going to sell that. If you guys are interested. Definitely message me or buy it from me on there. Yeah. So I got it like authenticated through Mercari. So I'm just waiting on the certificate for that, but it'll probably be posted by the time you guys see that. But I worked on that this morning. Grad school application, which I'll talk about in a second. Film TikTok unboxing, plus I'm filming it for YouTube as well. Put laundry away, bedding, already did that. Emails, shave for laser appointment, dinner with parents, and I have to drop off my car and Luna's old litter box. And I know this sounds like such a influencer to-do list, like, you know, you see their little to-do list and it's like, make bed, get nails done. Like, I get that. But yeah, it's just a lot of little things. Nothing major going on. But yeah, I have to drop off my car at my parents' house tonight because I'm getting an oil change and Land Rover actually will pick my car up and drop off a rental one and then bring my car back the same day. It's awesome. But now that I live in Winston, I'm not sure if it's out of range because my closest dealership is in Greensboro. So my dad set it up for me and everything. So they're gonna pick it up at my parents' house at nine in the morning. So I thought I would just go ahead and go over there and drop off my car tonight. And I asked if we could get dinner. So I think we're gonna do that. I have some business ideas to talk about. If you guys didn't see, I posted a video a few months back. I think it was my Q and A talking about what happened with our business that we were doing. And it's a, it's a really long story, but definitely go watch that video. But yeah, we're not really, I don't know if we're going to be doing that idea anymore. I love that idea. And we looked at several different ones that's similar and better after we ended up not doing that. But I don't know, I've kind of been inspired to go another direction recently. There's so many things I want to do and could do with my life. And I talk a little bit more about it in that video, so I'm not going to talk too much about it right now and bore you guys but I just have so many ideas for the future and for my life and I'm just trying to figure out my purpose and what I want to be doing and I'm trying not to rush into anything obviously some of you might be confused I'm still gonna do YouTube I love doing YouTube and I'm never gonna stop doing it but I don't know if I want this to be my full-time job forever it has been ever since I graduated college two years ago just because there was no need for me to get a nine to five at the time. Like I was doing very well. But now after the business thing ended up not happening, it really, I don't know how to explain it. It really like put things into perspective for me and kind of, it like made me take a pause and think like if my parents and I would have ended up doing what we were going to do, like my life would look so different right now. And I realized that that obviously wasn't the direction God wanted me in or else it would have happened. And so it's made me have like, an epiphany basically of like okay slow down like figure it out because because i obviously don't want to like jump into something and it not be right for me and then like it'd be like a whole mess and yeah so i don't want or even necessarily need a nine to five job right now because i'm very busy with youtube and like i said i do this full time and it is a full-time job i'm very 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 blessed i love it so much and I'm very fortunate, like so fortunate, like love it. But I do want to do something else with my time. It's not that I'm bored because I work, like I said, all the time, but I just feel like, I feel like I'm not doing enough. I don't know. I mean, I feel like a lot of people probably feel that way, but there's just so much I want to be doing and could be doing, or I think I could be doing, I don't know. And so while we're taking a pause on the business ventures, I decided that I'm going to go back to grad school or not back to grad school. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to go to grad school. So I'm actually currently working on my applications for that. I literally decided this like a week ago, guys. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna be applying to a few different ones. And so yeah, I've been working on my application. I worked on it a little bit last week and then a little bit this morning. And I'm almost done with one of them. I just have to get my letters of recommendations and fill out some, I think I have to do a video actually. I have to do a video, like a 60 second intro video a little bit about me or whatever so i gotta do that i'm gonna do that later so i'm actually gonna go get my master's in business my mba but i'm gonna do it in marketing 
I think that's gonna be like my minor concentration. I'm really, really excited because it's just something to do while I'm figuring out my next steps and also if I decide not to go the business route and like start my own business or take over a current business, I can always do something else with that degree and it'll just set me up better in life for future jobs and opportunities and honestly, I need a master's to run a business. You don't need it, but I feel like it's obviously not gonna hurt and some people might say it's a waste of time and resources and money, but in my opinion, I don't think so. I just think it's gonna help me even more and knowledge is power, you guys. And I actually like school. I thrived in school, so that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna go back to school. At least that's the plan. Who knows? But I'm gonna do, I think, the like part-time route and just take like one or two classes at a time. That way I can still focus on YouTube because I don't want that to take a pause. I don't want YouTube to be on the back burner. But yeah, I just don't want my plate too full right now with juggling full-time content creation, grad school, and then possibly starting a business or whatever, you know? I don't know. So I've just felt in a really weird place ever since January, ever since things fell through, I've just felt like, oh my gosh, I just wasted a year of my life planning for this thing that didn't end up happening. And then, yeah, like I said, blessing, such a blessing in disguise because since then, I talk about it in that video, but since then I have learned I don't think that would have been the best thing for me and my family. It wouldn't have been bad but I definitely am glad that that didn't happen because since then we've looked at similar concepts and have liked them better. So yeah, and now I'm even thinking of new opportunities and I like it even better and it's more up my alley. So yeah, I just, I don't know. This is my message to you guys to not force anything. Don't settle, don't rush into anything. I feel very blessed to be in this position where I didn't have to get a job or make any major decisions right after college because I did have YouTube to fall back on. That's my little spill, but I have so many friends and people that I've talked to and they feel stuck as well and they just don't know what they're doing. And I want you guys to know that I'm in the same position. By all means, don't think that I have my life figured out because I don't. And I honestly, there's so much peace in that. I understand that it's stressful. Trust me, I get that. Not knowing the future, not knowing what you're gonna do with your life. There's so much stress and anxiety that comes along with that. But also there's peace because you can think of the countless possibilities and opportunities that come with not knowing right away. And I'd rather have it that way than jump into a career and I end up not being happy with it. That's like my worst, worst fear. And I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. So if you guys are in your 20s, in college trying to figure it out, or maybe at post-grad and you're not happy with your current job, whatever it may be, everything will be okay. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. Honestly, therapy has helped me so much because I'm just such a planner and anxious person and I want everything to be perfect and I want everything to be like figured out, but my therapist has honestly taught me like it's exciting not knowing exactly what I'm doing with my life and everything's working out like I said like it's not like you know things could be bad I maybe don't have a job I don't have YouTube I could be homeless well I wouldn't be homeless I could live with my parents but you know what I mean it could be so much worse and like I said it's just exciting I'm really excited for this new chapter of my life and figuring it out I just know that God has a plan and it'll definitely be good to have something else to do with my time I mean, I feel like I'm so busy. I feel like I don't have much spare time because I'm constantly working, like I said. This is only gonna help me for my future, so that's why I'm going back to school. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I have the rest of my life to have my life figured out. Like, I'm only 24. I have the rest of my life to be settled and figure out where I wanna live and all that stuff. Like, I even... I even thought about at one time moving to London because Luke has a definite job over there. His uncle's own a huge Abestos firm over there and he has an opportunity to help with that. And so I even thought about like moving over there and doing grad school over there because they have a really, really, really good international school over there. So I was even thinking about doing that or working over there, but I think we have decided together that he's going to work over here. Then if we decide we wanna move over there, we will, but I don't know, I just feel like I don't wanna move away from my friends and family. 
I just don't think I could do it. Um, but the goal is in the future, way in the future to have a place over there and here. And yeah, that would be the goal and to have flexible jobs where we could live overseas some of the time, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm just ranting. But yeah, my makeup's done, I think. And now I'm gonna do my hair really quick. I was gonna do the unboxing before my aunt gets here, but I also don't want there to be a huge mess. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna wait on that and just work on my grad school application or fold some laundry. I don't really know. Makeup is done. Okay, so I just threw my hair up in a little ponytail. I just didn't want to deal with it, but I want to show you guys my new Literobot robot that I got for Luna. I've had it for a few days now. I think I got it in the mail Friday, but I didn't get it totally set up until Saturday because I was waiting on the new litter to come. But I wanted to do a little mini review on it because I looked at a ton of YouTube videos, TikToks and whatnot before I decided to purchase it because it is expensive. It is definitely a big investment. It is around $700. I got a bundle, so it was a little bit more than that. And then I bought a three-year warranty on top of the one-year warranty that it comes with. So I spent a lot on this device, but it's made my life so much easier. And I know that's a crazy amount to spend on a litter box, but it's so worth it, you guys. I'm gonna save so much money on litter, so much time that I was spending on scooping and making sure the litter box was clean. It is the best thing ever. Not sponsored, I bought it with my own money, but I'll show you guys really quick. So this is what it is. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, this is the Litter Robot 4, and basically it connects to your phone, and it is the coolest thing ever. It has a little step, and I have this mat underneath for like extra litter that comes off of her paws or whatever. But basically there's a sensor, and it knows when your cat is inside. It tells you how much they weigh. It'll also tell you if there's any irregularities in their stool or urine or whatever. It's freaking awesome. It tells you when it's cleaned. So like every time that Luna gets in, it waits seven minutes. That's the timer I have it set on. It waits seven minutes and then it'll rotate. And basically I can show you guys, but I'll do cycle. So this is what it does. So after she gets out, after about seven minutes, it starts to rotate. And it'll also tell me when I need to fill the litter up. And it tells you when the waste is full because the waste goes in this little drawer underneath. It's already got a liner in it and everything. But basically, the litter goes through this little sifter, I guess, is what you call that thing. I don't know. And if there's any clumps, they won't go through that, obviously, because they can't fit. So then it'll go into this compartment. She's trying to get in, and it pauses every time she gets in, which is fine. I mean, that's safe, but I just don't want her to mess up the cycle. Mm -mm. But it's so freaking cool. Obviously, there's no clumps because it's clean now. But, I mean, they're all down there. But, yeah, that's what it does. And I wasn't going to buy this because I didn't think it was necessary. But everybody I've talked to said it is such a good investment and that it's changed their life. And it truly has changed mine. Every time she would go to the bathroom, I would scoop it immediately because I didn't want my apartment sinking. And it was just messy and so much stuff. So, this has changed my life. It's it helps with odor as well. She loves it literally as soon as I set it up. She was like laying in it. I don't know if you guys saw my TikTok I posted about it, but it was so cute. I think she thought it was a toy, but she got the gist of it so quickly. Like I said, I set it up Saturday and she used it Saturday. Like she didn't have any accidents, which I know happens when transitioning to a new litter box or even using new litter and she had both, but she's so freaking smart, you guys. Like she knew what to do and she loves it as well and it's even got a little night light see how freaking cool because before i was leaving the bathroom light on for her at night i mean i know that's not necessarily like cats have night vision but i just felt bad but now it's just amazing and like i said i'm going to save so much time from scooping and so much money from litter because i have not filled it up once since saturday and it's now monday it's awesome. She's a sleepy girl today. That's my little litter robot update. And there's so many different accessories you can get. It's really the coolest invention ever. And so smart. I love it. And it's just so much better because when I do have guests over and they're using that bathroom, obviously, they're not like right next to a litter box that stinks and whatnot. So... 10 out of 10 recommend best thing ever. I think I'm going to sit here and do a little bit more for my grad school application before my aunt gets here. I'm gonna spend some time with her and then 
figure out what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. Well, I already know, I've got a to-do list, but you know what I mean. Hi guys, it's been a while. My aunt came over, I chatted with her for I think an hour. She loved Luna. She wants a ragdoll now. She loves cats. And she brought her a little toy. I'll show you guys when I'm inside. But I've been sitting on my balcony doing my grad school application. And I was working on my resume because that was required in the application. And I have not edited my resume since my freshman year of college. And nothing's really changed. I mean, I've have, I have a few more certifications. Well, a few more. I have one certification that I could put on there, which is for Excel. I just had to edit the dates of my previous jobs because when I was a freshman, I was currently employed by two employers or whatever. So I just had to edit like a few things. It actually took me a while. I had to upload a video of like introducing myself and saying a little bit about me. So I was just doing some stuff for that, but it's been good. I'm really excited to challenge myself and go back to school. I don't know why. I just feel like I haven't been challenging myself lately. Okay, I'm back inside now. I'm gonna try and simultaneously do a TikTok unboxing at the same time that I'm showing you guys. So we'll see how this goes because I don't know what direction to look in. I'll probably be looking at my phone, but yeah. This is definitely an overdue unboxing. This stuff has been sitting in my apartment for a few days now and I've just been waiting to film on it, so we're gonna unbox it. I got this little ribbed band dough top to go with an outfit that I got from Maritzia, so stay tuned. Very basic, but it was on sale and I love the ribbon on it. This is from Smashbox Cosmetics, I believe. It makes me so excited that I'm even on their PR list, like literally it's such a dream. Oh my gosh, how freaking cute is this bag? I've got their photo finish primer, one iconic drop, the original smooth and blur primer. Oh, I love this. They actually just sent me one of these, so I'll probably give this to a friend or my mom or put it in a giveaway because I have a brand new one already and then one in my drawer that I use. So yeah, but I'm actually wearing this mascara on my bottom lashes right now. I love this mascara. Okay, those three boxes I can't touch. I'm sorry. Actually, I might open one of them for you guys because I want to, but... We're gonna get into the Amazon stuff. I have no idea what this is. Now I definitely have to open the other box because this is boring. I just got these disposable litter boxes. If you guys saw, I just got my cat a litter robot and then I'm gonna take her old litter box to my parents' house because I'm going to London for a few weeks in December and I'll need somebody to watch her. So I'm gonna have that one over there and then these are gonna be for traveling because I bring her to the lake sometimes, the lake house, not outside. So these are gonna be great because I obviously cannot take the litter robot anywhere, it's huge. I think we're gonna open this Aritzia one. I don't know if this is the right one, we'll see. Luna, Paul's off. She just got this all dirty. <laughs> not my brand new white top. She just came from outside so her holes are dirty. Oh dang it, this is not the right stuff, but I'll show you guys. I got this little bralette, stay tuned. This skirt, again, stay tuned because the other items are in the other boxes that I'm pairing it with and these jeans, stay tuned. It's not the box that I wanted you guys to see, but yeah, that's my little haul. Sorry if it was boring. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed that. I honestly thought it was gonna be better stuff to show you, but it's fine, I've got these two boxes that, like I said, I cannot show you guys yet. Well, I could, I just am waiting for a separate YouTube video, TikTok thing. But I'm gonna clean all this up and then I have to uh, get out the door. I'm so hungry, I haven't had anything since that smoothie bowl. Actually, that's a lie. I snacked on some chocolate. Yeah, but I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna get going. Okay, so I forgot my camera at home. I actually was gonna bring it. I'm just waiting on my parents. We came to a steakhouse that's in my hometown. In Cartersville, because they live in Cartersville, and it's only like 14 minutes away from me. So we like it here. We're gonna eat here. It's 7:16. I don't know when I'm gonna get home, but yeah, I got most of everything on my to-do list done. I think the only thing left to do when I get back is put laundry away and shave the bottom half of my legs. Hi guys, it is the next 
day. I didn't end the vlog off last night because I came home after dinner, just got some more work done, focused on my application and went to bed. And then today I had Pilates and a laser appointment and I'm coming off to end this vlog because I'm pretty sure I got plenty of footage yesterday. But before I end the vlog, I wanna do a little mini Sephora haul. I just got it in the mail, so I thought why not end the vlog off with a little mini haul. First thing that I got is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I stopped using it for a while and was using the One Size by Patrick Star. Is that what it is? I think so, I don't know. I've been using that one, but sometimes it's a little too mattifying, so then I went back to this one and was running out. So I decided to purchase this and that was the whole reason that I even placed a Sephora order in the first place. And then literally the next day, I looked at my restock drawer and I had a full, full bottle. So it's fine, now I've got two. I also got this limited edition beauty blender just cause I needed a new one. My other one was getting a little old looking and gross. I also got a mini size of the Anastasia Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. I like mini things because when I'm traveling, it just fits better, obviously, in my makeup case, hence why I get the mini size of this. It just fits better. I repurchased this a few times, but I always switch back and forth between different brow gels, different brow waxes, and I just have so many of them, I just decided to get the mini size this time. I also wanted to try this Makeup Forever HD Skin Face Essentials Palette, but it just looks like this. I have no idea how to use this. I need to like play around with it, but it's all cream and it looks super pretty. I think I got the light one, or like light to medium. The medium to dark looked way too much even when I'm spray tan. So I just got the lighter shade. And then last but not least, I got the Color Wow Texture and Finish Spray. I just wanted to try it. So I will keep you guys updated. Everything will be linked in the description box and on my LTK. I haven't placed a Sephora order in quite some time, so this is definitely needed. But I love you guys so, so much. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will hopefully see you all very soon in my next one. Bye guys.